So we're going to talk about data guard in this lecture. So let's uh, start with uh, what is Oracle Data Guard. It ensures high availability data protection and disaster recovery for enterprise data. So Oracle Data Guard basically helps with the disaster recovery. The way it works is the Oracle Cloud Infrastructure Database Data Guard implementation requires two databases, one in a primary role and one in a standby role. The two databases compose a data guard association. So there is an association between the two databases, which keeps the data in both the database in sync. So most of your applications will go to the, the primary database, which is open for read, write, and uh, so your applications will connect to that database, and there will be a replication of data to the standby database. So it enables Oracle database to survive disasters and data corruption. So it provides a service that actually creates, maintains, and manages and monitors the standby database. So Data Guard is a service which does all that. How does Oracle Data Guard work? So it requires, as we said, two databases, one in primary and one in standby role. The two database compose a data guard association, the service which helps keep the standby in sync. As I said, most of the application acts as the primary database. The standby database is a transactional consistent copy of the primary database. So it's actually the true copy of the primary database. So you are storing data on two databases. Though you are applying on one database, but it's being replicated by DataGuard. So DataGuard maintains the standby database by transmitting and applying redo data from the primary database. Uh, Oracle database generates redo data like most databases do. And that database, uh, that redo data is transmitted to the standby database, and that's what's applied on the standby database. So if the primary data be database becomes unavailable because of a planned or an unplanned outage, you can use the data guard to switch the standby database to the primary role, minimizing the downtime associated with the outage. So in planned, you would, you would have a short outage to switch the database role in unplanned is when you when your database goes down and uh, it's uh, it's unable to start up then you would switch the standby to become the primary so let's look at the screen here so in the screen as you see uh, the database there are two availability domains so basically they are uh, 100 miles apart and that's ideal you want to have that uh, because if uh, if they are both in the same availability domain, then you don't have any disaster recovery because both of them go down. And the replication, as you see here, it's done by that data guard service, which basically every time the primary, this is the primary database, whenever this primary database gets a transaction, that transaction, it's transferred as a redo log to the standby database. There is also an active standby, which, which basically means that the standby can be opened for read only. So, so active standby helps. So what it helps with, it helps with offloading uh, some work, which only requires reading. So you are avoiding putting that load to your primary database, which is uh, strictly used by your users and applications. And if you need some reporting, you can go to your standby so you use the cpu and other services on your server to uh, do the reports you can also offload backup so instead of backing up here you're going to back up your database from the standby so that load which requires using a processes to do the backup it's offloaded to the standby so your primary is again strictly used for your production application and users so there are a few prerequisites 
for to create the database and this rec prerequisite so two db systems as we said ideally in two different availability domain primary and standby so there are two databases again they have to be in same compartment and they must be of the same shape and same software levels versioning everything should be same and in the data guard configuration very important there is is limited to one uh, standby per primary database this is just in the the cloud infrastructure if you were to do it on your on premise you could do multiple but at this stage uh, oracle cloud infrastructure uh, has a limitation of having only one database per primary as we said the database versions and additions must be identical and the versions which you need for active data guard requires enterprise or extreme performance versions you cannot have anything lower than that the standard edition is will not work in the uh, in the data guard situation uh, as you see on the screen both the db systems must use the same vcm the port is 1521 must be open between the two db systems so the ports connecting to the db systems as uh, we saw in the slide earlier they need to be opened so the ingress and egress should both be able to communicate with each other again should be in two different availability domain the standby database in oracle cloud infrastructure are physical standbys only so they don't support logical standbys as of now they are actually a block to block copy by applying the redo logs a logical standby which again for oracle cloud infrastructure it's not permitted but just for your knowledge what is a logical standby so it's it uses it reconstructs the sql using the redo log so instead of just applying the logs it actually will create the actual sql which was applied on the primary it will generate that using the redo log and apply that to the standby database terms used in data guard switch over so a switch over reverses the primary and standby database roles each database continues to participate in the data guard association in a new role so a switch over ensures no data loss you can use a switch over over before you perform planned maintenance so if you want to do some planned maintenance on your primary you would take a small outage of around 30 minutes to switch uh, roles so you can make your primary standby and then you can do maintenance on that and when you restart the log apply uh, resumes and then it brings the database back in sync so so there is a lag because it was down so there are my, there are logs which are waiting to be applied so until that is done you need to monitor your database. If failover transitions the standby database into a primary role, after the existing primary database fails or becomes unreachable, a failover might result in some data loss when you use maximum performance protection mode. So there are two different uh, modes. Maximum performance, in order to gain performance, the database does not wait for the logs to be applied on the standby but that's again for performance but you would lose some data in that case reinstates reinstates a database into a standby role in a data guard association you can use the reinstate command to return a fail database into a service after correcting the failure so when the primary database has failed you failed over so you've made your standby as primary until you find the cause and fix uh, why the failure was there and then you would use the reinstate command to bring it back to the primary role so this is a uh, theory let's do some hands-on on, on uh, uh, data guard